Light is the natural agent that stimulates our sight, making all things visible when darkness turns to bright. Electromagnetic radiation received by an eye's good vision stimulates optic receptors so we can see with some precision. Many creatures see either ultraviolet or infrared, but not the two. In humans, vision varies in how much violet or red comes through. Birds and bees see ultraviolet to seek their flowers and mates. For dogs, cats, and hedgehogs, black light vision operates. The infrared trait is in reptiles, fish, and blood-sucking insects. Hunters like vampire bats and wolves smell infrared heat effects. Light is the avenger of darkness, the domain of evil forces. Knowledge, intelligence, and wisdom are expressed by light sources. Color is the visible aspect caused by qualities of light being reflected or emitted by all surfaces within our natural sight. To discern the color of any object, light is quintessential. Saturation, brightness, and hue distinguish every color's potential. The visible light spectrum means all colors seen by humankind shine white light through a prism and colors get ordered and aligned. Each color exists as a slice of electromagnetic radiation. The wavelength gives each micro slice its recognizable coloration. Whether referring to colored pigment or to colored light, saturation describes the inclusion of how much black or white. How vivid, rich, or vibrant defines a color's saturation. Value tells us how dark or light is the paint color application. The hue means the purest version of a color with no white or black. Purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red are called hues, and that's a fact. The color wheel includes cool chroma, purples, greens, and blues. In paintings, Reds, oranges, and yellows are the warmest colors to use. The brightest hue is the color yellow. To the eye, it's always outstanding. After black and white first attract your view, yellow is the next one most commanding. Complementary colors on the color wheel appear on opposite sides. Next to each other, they both stand out due to the contrast that provides. Joseph Albers, Yale art professor and color master extraordinaire, modernized color theory that's taught in design classes everywhere. In the practice I learned, we painted endless squares inside of squares, learned their names, their effects on each other, and the complementary pairs. Some combinations recede or contrast, and some are scintillating. Some pigments are translucent or opaque. Some are calm or activating. In visionary art, color can portray the highest light of transcendence, the glowing halo or shining countenance symbolizing angelic resplendence. Transcendence is an experience significant beyond any norm. Ineffable, there's no physical reference for transcendence to conform. The light can be a symbol of the spiritual divine. The sun, the source of all life, is the highest joyful sign. A transcendent state offers rapture, communion, and awe. Unity with nature and cosmos sheds light on fundamental law. It may feel like time stands still, immersed in wonder and humility. Our small life seems insignificant as we flow toward deep tranquility. To Maslow, transcendence was the highest level, inclusive and holistic. 
on his consciousness pyramid the apex of a free, self-actualized mystic. One whose self-transcended seeks sublime thought, emotion, and spirit, altruistically serving others to add meaning to life and not fear it. The self-transcendent one experiences the world's inherent beauty. Stop to smell the roses and life's miracle is a sacred duty. Nihilistic soul-killing worldviews fade away and disappear. Hubris is quieted, the soul becomes buoyant, and life's a new frontier. When the world feels frightful and going to hell in a handbasket, visionary artists get creative and design their own ark or casket. Visionary creations that we manifest can be a beacon of light to dispel the darkness make peaceful the mind and illuminate the night. In my art, deep journeys have revealed an essentialized worldview of basic perceptions of structures in life that we must all pass through. A full spectrum of colors was my palette choice near the start, a consistently repeatable construct and a symbolic icon of art. From a psychedelically soul-inspired inner light of awareness to a material painting with close-packed units of multicolored squareness, what I saw was infinite light fields of spectral hues pulsating, vast vistas of fountainous streams that flowed with all the colors rotating. The painted gridded systems of colored cells blend and harmonize, portraying a frozen moment to stop and watch entropy fragmentize. When a painting translates a sacred vision, the subject is the highest priority. Life-defining moments in light, color, and spirit received from a higher authority.